It's Jizz Jeans. Is this Ben? Yes, it is, Mr. Dartmouth. Hello. I heard you would like to schedule an appointment. Yes, I would. What's your earliest availability? I can meet tomorrow morning at 8.30. Okay, good. There's a lot affecting me right now. I'm starting to feel overwhelmed again. I'm sure you can make it till tomorrow. I hope so. See you soon. Oh no, I'm almost late! What's been going on? I... I had a nightmare last night. Care to describe it? Hopefully I can remember it. It... It was about the past. What happened could have affected you. It's been three years since... I was abused. How so? I... I, I don't know how to best describe it. But three years ago, I was contributing to the town market. I was helping out a lot, being friendly to all my peers and customers. There was the market manager who has a big social presence, yet I felt she wasn't as dedicated to the task or as friendly. She had curly hair, somewhat brunette, and her face was slightly wrinkled. She had several people within her reach who she could count on in a moment, as her direct associates who helped run the market. But one winter, my life changed for the worst. The market manager approached me holding this weird fruit. She held it up to me. What did it look like? I... I wish I didn't have to describe it. It was very pale colored and coarsely textured. She said to me... Would you like to try this? Little... Little did I know, however, is that she grew specifically to ruin me. Upon biting into it, it tasted somewhat sour and sweet at the same time. But after a few seconds, I felt off. Very strange. Almost like it wasn't myself. I began having something close to a mental breakdown. I began to ramp up this feeling of isolation, loneliness, and sadness. Feeling unwillingly reckless. I began to speak very dangerous and depressing things. And yet I felt conscious and in control at the same time. Yet when I snapped back to what seemed like reality, the market manager and her colleagues began to berate me. They said very hateful things about me, even as going as far to me their hate later on. But deep down I know the truth. That fruit upon remembering incited its internal mental struggles and raw sadness to come out of the consumer upon eating it. I only forgot what it looked like until I ate it. I never know why she gave it to me, but I began having several disturbing thoughts and feelings afterwards. Sensing guilt and being allowed to eat that fruit, I became very depressed. Almost self-destructive. Especially because I said I wasn't allowed to come back to the market after that. And that was unfair, because she was the one who gave me that fruit. And when I tried telling others what happened, they always took a side and continued to berate me. Not even the national market wanted me after that. And then... There are the nightmares. I see her in my sleep. 
Every time I have them, I always see her, and I feel powerless to do anything. My voice becomes non-existent. My writing slows if I try to run away, but they always end the same way, with her trying to strangle me to death. I feel like she's still saying hateful things about me to this day. <laughs> we don't know that. I understand, but it could be true. If it is true, it only proves how troubled she is. Either way, you win. Especially because you took responsibility where she did not. Especially because she solely incited those feelings from you. And if others cannot see the truth, that is on them. You know yourself better than anyone else. And for those who are hateful and aggressive in the face of honesty and kindness, karma will find them. Not today, but someday. Are you sure? It's my job to help people to see the good side of things. If you can continue to watch you best, being yourself, you already proved them wrong. Okay. And the people that you do know the truth would miss you very much if they lost you. Those are the people who matter. Not those selfish market people who wronged you. Now, let me ask another question. What do you enjoy doing? Well, I enjoy organizing events for people I know. Then you're already doing the right thing. Keep up the good work. Because by being yourself, you're winning against these liars. Just have fun and be yourself. That's the best revenge. <laughs>